Hey Epic Sam Plays, Sodi here back again with a new Guild Wars video. So today I'll be trying out the buffed up version of Cecilia. So Cecilia received a couple buffs, most notably her third skill now gives your whole team two turns of immunity. So I think she's really good now. So I went for a speedy tanky build on her with some effectiveness so she can land her debuffs. As for Artifact, I went with Aureus for damage mitigation, but you can also go for other artifacts like Adamant Shield for damage mitigation or Steadfast Gatekeeper for CR push or even Hiller Glance for CR push. Elbrus is pretty good because her first skill has a defense break, so you can go for Elbrus too. So yeah, let's get right into the guild walls. So there's only about an hour left. It's actually a really close war. Um, 300 points apart. So it looks like I'm the last guy to attack, I think. Yeah, um, I got hit a lot. <laughs> like, like 20 times, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> I haven't counted. Yeah, let's have a look at the different towers left. For us to hit today. Hmm. Ooh, MO Roman. I think I'll go for this guy, but let's have a look at the other towers first. Alright, look, this looks pretty scary. Alright, let's go for this guy first. Um for the first battle. I think I'll bring my Cecilia there. Okay, so there's an Arbiter Vildred, so I think Emil Ken should do well. For the third member, who should we bring? Could bring a healer. I think Kraut's pretty good. Hmm, I'm not sure who to bring for the third spot. Let's have a look at the second battle. I think Kraut should do well in the second battle. And I want to bring something to bait the Tenebria. So I'll bring my... Hmm. I'll bring my own Ruel. She's gonna bait the Tenebria. And I need a damage dealer. Actually, I think I don't need Crow in the second battle. I think I'll bring my Charles and I'll go with hmm I'll go with spec hmm, I'll go with I'll go with SSP. I think SSP is pretty good. Which healer should I bring? Could bring Roanna. Let's go for Roanna. Looks pretty good, I think. Alright, let's go. I will be victorious. Okay, so they don't have immunity sets on them, so we can try and provoke. Okay, nice, we got two provokes. Chaos. Wow, it's a tanky Avil. Should I go for my third skill now? Um. Hmm. Now, nah, save it. Okay. Supply attack down. Nice, we got attack down on the A build. It's got to reduce his damage. Okay, crit our ML 10. So we're gonna 
do good damage there. Ooh, wow, our Molten's taking a lot of damage. Alexis Basket, always. Oh. And we did not give our Cecilia revive. Dang it. <laughs> Alright. Well, our Cecilia did pretty well, though, gotta say. <laughs> she did give. Yeah, she did do quite a lot there. Um, she provoked two units and then she applied attack down onto the Arbiter. Yeah, I would have given her the revive buff, but I wanted to save the heal after the Arbiter attacks. Um, oh well. Okay, next battle. I don't mind Emo can counter counter attacking because we have defense buff, so he can't take us out. Okay. So I want to heal myself because um, Will's gonna get hit by the Spectre Tenebria and Emo Ken because they're dark and she's um and she's light. So I want to apply the, unha the uh, unhealable debuff onto the ML Ken. Oh wait, what? Right, he's immune. <laughs> okay, doing a lot of damage. All right. Nice. Okay. Um. I think I'll just attack here. Hopefully she brings back the Spectre Tenebria. The ammo can will be more difficult to deal with. Alright, that's kind of an issue. Uh, do I want to risk taking a crit? Uh Hmm I'll give Charles the invincibility So right here he's, he's gotta get countered by the ML Ken right, I wanna try and apply attack down, okay Alright so we got off the attack down. Try and get attacked down again. Okay. Dang, we got attacked down. Um, keep, let's take away that um defense break. Nice, we got target. Okay, we apply defense break, so this should do okay damage. But since we have attack down, I don't think we'll take him out. Oh, we did. Okay, nice. Alright, let's try that tower with ML Roman. So ML Roman did get buffed. I don't have him, but let's see if he does anything on defense. So for the first match, um... I want to bring my K-Ron. I think K-Ron's going to be pretty good. And I want to bring something to... Oh, I want to bring Crow Because Crow's going to bait the Shadows. And then... Hmm, who else should I bring? Uh, I think this looks good. Alright, for the second battle... Actually, I want to bring my ML Ken into the second battle. Maybe bring Ruel to bait the Ravi, alright? Um... Do we have enough damage in the first battle, though? 
don't think I even need a well. I think I think I can go something else. Tempest Siren, maybe try and make it work. Second battle. Ammo can shells, okay. So I want SSB. I don't think I need SSB. I think I'll go for Champion Serato. Looks pretty good. Um, actually, I think I'll bring my ammo can into the first. No, into the. I'll bring my Champion Serato into the first battle. Second battle, I'll bring Siren and. Um. Yeah, uh, I really want damage mitigation. So I don't think I'll be bringing Surin. SSB plus Fawn Cecilia is actually really good. It yeah, could try this out. Alright, um, well the... Now I'm gonna do Siren instead of SSB, because SSB is gonna get attacked by the Euphine. Alright, looks good, let's go. Alright, so I can silence the Roman here. But, but like, I want him to use his third, so, you know, for the video, I want I want to see what, what he can do, so I'll just go for the shells instead. Wow, he did not silence my Serato. I wanted him to silence Serato so, we, so I can counterattack. And I'm not going to use my third yet. Nice, we hit, so it should take him out, yeah? Nice. It doesn't matter if I'll crowd, I mean, if I'll K run or silence. Okay. Hopefully, we get some defense breaks. I want to set Ravi, okay? Nice, we got great attack off. Should take her out, okay. Next battle. Well, he got attack buff, but we have um adamant shield from Fawn Cecilia, should help with that, okay. Nice, we prop the immortality. Oh, do I, do I go for my third? Do I try and provoke the Euphine? Yeah, let's try and provoke the UC. Dang, she resisted. That's not good. Alright, took her out. Nice, you managed to take out UC twice so she can't use her skills. Oh, that's so much damage. That's so close. Wow, we're gonna lifesteal to full, but like, that's so close. It's gonna be the first time my um my Surin actually survives a Guild Wars battle. I think it's gonna be the first time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my Surin hasn't survived a single Guild Wars battle since I started using her. We provoke. Doesn't really matter though. Okay. So I gave her RNL. 
I think it's a pretty good artifact for her, giving her extra turns. Alright. Hmm, let's have a look. Pizza slice, okay. Maybe there's something interesting here. That looks interesting. Alright, this looks interesting. The second battle. So there's a ML Crescent protecting Kisei. Yeah, I'll try and go for that. First battle, hmm. Crowd for the Violet, okay. Um. I don't think K runs good. But I want to use k Ron, but he's so bad versus Emo Ken and Crow, so I, I don't, I can't really bring him. I can bring SSB though. Um, but do I want to bring? Hmm. Okay, I'll bring Surin into the second battle and see what she can do. Emo Ken's pretty good. Uh. I don't think I need to change anything in the second battle. Hmm. I could bring Charles for the first battle. But then I won't have any healing for the ML Ken. Hmm. I'll bring my Ravi, and then I'll bring um, a healer. This actually looks pretty good. Alright, let's go. Skip Ravi and Crow attack buff. Crit resist is actually pretty good too. Um, I'll blow my third for extra damage. Okay. Let's try and provoke. All right. I see your weakness. Nice. He went for the. Uh, he went for the crowd there. So I want to take out the ballot first. This should take him out. I'm missing like 12k HP, so should easily take him out. No, wow. Wait, what? That is so bad. Wow, he, he went through our crit resistance, okay. That is so bad. Um. Wow. Wow, we're gonna lose this. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I saw Crow definitely had Valid there. Oh, look at that double attack. Uh. Hmm. Do I go for Crow and then try and revive next turn with my third onto the Valid? Wow, 
while I'm I pushed you back too. Oh, well, look at that door attack. Now he's got defense buff. Uh, okay, we, we took him out at least. Now we're not proccing Crimson Seed. I don't think we can survive Crow. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, we're not gonna survive this, no way. Dang. Alright. Final battle. Yeah, so I can. I can, um. Provoke the what's the name? Si uh, not secret. Kise, right? All right, nice counter attack. Oh wait, she's slower than Lilius. Okay, that did not do much. Um. Wow, she stunned us, okay. Two cell Seraph skill here. So Kisei's gonna use this second. Okay, counter. Alright. Oh nice, Arnell, perfect. Here comes Siren! Oh come on, she didn't take out the key save. <laughs> Alright, uh Okay. Nice. <laughs> Stunned again. Hey. Siren did pretty well today. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we did... Hmm... Cecilia is actually pretty good. So let's have a look at Cecilia again. So I think she's pretty good. I think she is kind of like a Bruiser version of Crimson Armin. Because she offers more damage I would say because the third skill does damage but Crimson Armin offers more protection with the crit damage reduction. Cecilia does have attack down debuff on her second skill but you can't really rely on that but with Crimson Armin's passive it will always be active so you can definitely rely on Crimson Armin. So yeah compared to other knights as you can see, I have multiple knights. Charles doesn't count, he's a damage dealer, but when it, can, when it comes to damage mitigators, um, as you can see, I got many knights built. Well, Lilia's gears is on my Cecilia right now, so uh, yeah, she's not got any gear on, but yeah, I would say Cecilia is pretty good. Is she as good as the other knights? It depends on your team composition because she's a different element, yeah, she's fire. She shares the same element as Lilith, but she offers AoE provoke and immunity buff for two turns, whereas Lilith offers a cleanse, right, with her third skill. So you have to ask yourself uh, what kind of utility you need. Let's say you bring in a DPS unit which needs immunity buff. Obviously, Cecilia or Crimson Armin is gonna be the best in slot. 
for your night, so she's definitely worth building. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today guys, hope you, got, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give my video a like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to join my Discord channel too. The link is down below in the description. If you have any comments or questions, you can comment down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a great day guys. Sodi signing out.